Alright, we're checking out Death's Grasp here today. Now this is part of the Ludum Dari 44 game jam, and the topic of this game jam is Life is Currency. And we know that when it comes to the Grim Reaper and Death, your life is the currency and he is here to collect. And that's what this game's all about, very dark, very macabre. It looked very intriguing to me, so I wanted to check it out for us. It is a free game, I'll have a link down below. Check it out if you want to see if there's any sort of different alternative endings. We'll see if we can figure one out for ourselves here today. Let's start. I will be trying to give these voices a couple, or at least these characters a couple of voices too. Trying to get us into the mood here. Last winter, there was an epidemic that spread throughout the village. It took many lives, including my wife. It was a sad time for us all. All I've got left is my daughter. At least until this epidemic takes her life as well. I'd do anything to save her. Suddenly. You'll do anything to save her, huh? Yeah, yeah I could only imagine who's at a knocking on the door right now. There's a knock at the door. Who could it be at this time of night? You know, obviously every, everything in my fiber tells me do not open the door, but I guess if we do that, the girl dies immediately, right? I guess that's one ending right there. Let's answer the door. Who is it? A hooded figure stands in the doorway, looming over me. Oh. Who are you? What do you want? I've come for her. Okay, that confused me, because it, it still says dead as if like dead was supposed to be talking, but it's giving me a description, actually. The figure sounded like a hundred voices in unison. Well, I'm sorry. I could try to do voices for you, but I cannot imitate, or at least I can't do a hundred voices at once. Its hollow echo ran down my spine as I knew it had finally come to take her. It's too soon. Not yet. The hooded figure. That's confusing me so much. Why do you have the name over it? I mean, it's a game jam, so it was like made in like, or, like, under like two days probably, but it's throwing me off. The hooded figure drifts past and pulls back its hood, unveiling itself. Oh, God. That is one terrifying version of death right there. Oh, boy. Overwhelming fear takes over my body, and my legs give way at the sight of the monstrosity. No, it can't be true. First you take my wife, and now you come for my daughter. I won't let you. You won't let me. No one can escape my grasp. No, there has to be a way. She's all I've got left in this world. I can offer you a deal. Oh, yeah, that's what you want to do, a deal with that. A deal? I shall not take her life tonight, if you deliver unto me another's life. I'm no fool. What are you to gain from this? How am I to deliver another life to you? Your boldness amuses me. Am I not dead? Snuff out their life with your own hands, and your daughter's step will be paid with theirs. What is thine answer? Well, I guess that's an ending right there, probably. But we're here to do whatever it takes to save our daughter's life, right? Even, apparently, murder. What is it that you propose? I should not take her life tonight. You should make haste. I wait for no one. That fades into the darkness. Okay. And apparently you left your uh, many faces here, which is terrifying. Uh, go to the main street, go to the well, go to the town, let's go to the slums, I mean. Look, I ain't, I ain't trying to be heartless here, but if I'm trying to kill somebody for my daughter's life, if you're in the slums committing crimes and you're a criminal yourself, I won't feel as guilty for killing you to save her. I mean, I still feel bad about killing in general, but I'm just saying at least it's not an outstanding member of society, right? Darkness shrouds the alleyways from sight. I wouldn't usually come to a place like this. A vagrant sleeps on the floor, unaware of my presence. Oh, well, I'm glad you gave me the choices here. Please forgive me. 
I need to save her. And that's how it starts. Waking up in a cold sweat, I hope that last night was all but a nightmare. Checking in on my daughter, I see that she's still alive. Tears start to well up and overflow from my eyes. Why do you cry, father? I'm just so happy that you're here with me. I embrace her, knowing that it may be my last time. The days go by quickly, and Emma looks much better than before my encounter with Dead. However, signs of her promising recovery begin to fade as her fever begins to manifest once again. I put her back to bed and let her rest. Gee, what do you think's knocking? It's probably the, the mailman, right? Delivery? Package for her father? I open the door and Death stands before me once again. I return for her life. What? No, no, I, I missed the... I, I skipped too quickly. I think I said something and like, we had a deal? And I've kept my end of the deal. I did not come for her life that night. But this night I have. That's unfair. There is no fair in life and debt. But... If you bring me another life in place of hers... I will prolong her survival again. However, it will cost you like once before. If you speak of the horrors that I saw in my sleep, then the cost is not a problem. That wasn't the only price you paid. Every time you kill a person to put off her debt, a part of your life is paid to be as well. You're welcome to keep bringing me souls. But you will notice that your life will also near its end, the more you do it. The signs are already starting to show. Death fades away, his words repeating through my mind as I stand at the doorway alone. I rush over to the sink and examine any changes to my appearance. Unfamiliar wrinkles run across my forehead, my cheeks gaunt in streaks of... Um... Streaks of, uh, you fill in the blank, I guess. I need to find another soul for him. This deal was a mistake. I mean, hey, we're in it already. We you gotta do what we gotta do. Go to the main street, go to the well, go to the town gate. I guess we'll go to the well. I got no reasoning for it this time. I'm just gonna go somewhere I feel like maybe there won't be so many people. Oh, good. Are you a child? Oh, God. The town well. That's it. Oh god, it's a child. Oh, it's one thing to kill a vagrant. This is a child now. A boy is drawing water from it when he notices you. Oh, hello, sir. Are you in need of the well? I'll be finished shortly if you don't mind waiting a moment longer. Alright, look, man. It's not like I can back out of this one, alright? There's no option to do so. Sir? I'm sorry, but I have to. Oh, look, I know she's a child herself, and it's my daughter. It's a little bit more difficult now we're talking about, like, killing another child for your child now, right? That's, that's, man. I arrived home later than I expected. It seems the cost of killing people is taking a greater toll on me than I thought. But I have to keep it up for Emma's sake. Emma peeks her head out from her room at your arrival home. Father, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, sweetie. Why do you ask? You look so tired and... old? I check my reflection in the sink again, staring back as an old man I am unfamiliar with. It was just a long day, sweetie. Time for your poor old dad to get some rest. You should go back to bed as well. I kiss Emma on the forehead and send her to bed. Well... Hey, we're knee-deep in it. Go to the main street or go to the town gate? I'll go to the main street. Oh, looky here. All right. I mean, I ain't saying that I'm okay killing this guy because he's obviously drunk, but I'm just going to... Uh, I've been there many a times myself. I don't want somebody to sacrifice me for their child because I'm drunk. But I'm just saying. 
It's not as bad as a child. Drawing water from a well. The main street is in town. It leads to the town square. I remember walking down this street as if... As a family during the spring festival. We were... It sometimes cuts off for some reason. A drunk man stumble, stumbles towards me. A worthless life. I need you to die. So she can live. What? Get out of my way, old man! Well, I mean... It's not like he's giving me much of a choice now, is it? It's kind of weird how yeah, I'm pointing out the fact that I'm an old man, too. So it's obviously fairly visible what's happening to us, huh? As I reach the doorstep to my home, I struggle to lift my arms to the door. Quickly, I begin to realize the price I have paid. The toll on my body was too much. The muscle and fat around my hands begin to diminish into bone. With no more muscle left in my legs, I collapse before the door. Footsteps approach from behind the door, and it opens. Father! The last words I hear before my eyes turn into darkness and nothing that shrouds my... Always cutting off. Voices echo in the pitch black. Unable to live without your daughter, but prolonging her suffering for your own. You were so greedy. You became death yourself. You were a fool after all. Dead reaches down and picks up another skull for his collection. Oh, my dude. That was actually pretty good. Short, but really, really good. I like it. Who saw that coming? I'm sure a lot of people saw it coming, probably. But you know, once you're committed to it, you gotta go along with it. But there you guys go. If you want to check it out for yourself and see if uh, the other options bring about a different type of ending, go ahead and check it out. I have a link for you down below. It's a complete free download, so check it out for a fact. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you next time.